All right, all right. Let the notification go out. Come on in, come on in. And yes, 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 everybody. Uh, we are on Facebook, yeah, and YouTube. So we're gonna get those fo uh, formalities out of the way here in just a moment. Uh, I'm gonna do our usual sound check, if you don't mind. Thank you for understanding. And uh, I just want to let everybody know that sound check. Yeah, that we are just. It, it, it's amazing how God works. It's amazing how he works. Because when he dropped this on my spirit, because I was like, okay, so you had me get back to basics. And I never asked why. That's the thing. We don't question God that way. Well, we do on some things. But when he tells us to do something like that, it's like I'm, I never asked him why. But he always liked to tell me anyway. And I'm like, oh, that's good. Because I was, right, during a season of extra self-care and things like that, uh, the social media posting schedule and things like that just kind of got a little wonky. And God had me take a break from this platform. He had me take a break from that platform. And so now he's like, okay, I need you to get back to basics. And so that's what we've been doing behind the scenes. We've been getting back to basics, right? And he said, I got you to get back to basics to get you back on track. I said, oh, of course, because everyday life, you all, it, oh, this mind, I tell you, where our thoughts go, ooh, yeah, very important because we can easily get caught up in other things that may be taking away from other things that we want to be doing. And so it's easy. That's right. Even when we don't have evildoers around us to distract us or anything like that, we still can get off track a little bit. And now God will have us do that too. Right? It depends on what's going on. So like during the detox journey that uh, many of us are on, I, I know of one. So if anybody is comfortable sharing uh, we, we know that uh, Chris is on board with us, and uh, yes, so if anybody else is comfortable, let me know who else has decided to take on this challenge to go on this journey with us, or the detoxing from trauma and the uh, radio frequency poisoning, because that's part of the traumatization to the autonomic nervous system. So you can drop that in the comments below and let me know if you have decided to join us on this. And um, don't forget, we do have a course available for you to help you with that as well at CHA Academy. So let's go ahead and get these formalities out of the way. I am Michelle Dickey, your host for CHA Motivational Monday Show, streaming on the YouTube channel, Narcissism and Cognitive Dismiss, and Facebook at Consulting for Height Awareness where trauma healing and spiritual growth are front and center while combating radio frequency poisoning for healthier living. Trauma healing and spiritual growth occur here at CHA Academy, btbw.com, with God's wisdom, basic scientific facts, tried and true techniques, and more. Yes, the link to the Academy is listed below. And yes, hello, Cliff Miller. <laughs> I just mentioned you on the journey with us. Thank you. All right, yes, and you may have to copy and paste the link to view what CHA Academy BTBW.com offers to help you level up your trauma healing and spiritual growth. And I want y'all to know something that we have got CHA's low sodium menu guide and now a supplement, zero to 50 milligram sodium guide to go with that to get y'all started. We got more coming. That is our Patreon digital product line. Right, you can get it on the Patreon channel. That's also listed down below. All right, and I highly encourage y'all to check that out. All right, there is a short video on the about page Patreon channel, and to let you know what you're gonna get, and then a description with a disclaimer because <laughs> you better be ready to accept that you've been lied to since birth about a lot of things, including how we're supposed to live. So we learn how we're supposed to live in God's word. That's right. The Holy Bible. And so when God said, get back to basics, 
to get back on track. And I was like, oh, somebody else needs that. <laughs> That's right. Because when God says get back to basics, it just means that we are dwelling on or engaging in another activity a bit too much. Guilty. A bit too much. Now, while we are focused on healing, which we should be because what we focus on the most is what we're going to attract more of. So the enemy knows this. So if we're sitting there dwelling and say, yeah, we know we're focused on the healing, paying attention to what's going on, staying vigilant and aware. Yeah. And so it's like, uh, okay. And so he has us get back to basics. What does that mean? All right. For example, get me back on that blood type diet. That's back to basics. Meaning, what were we doing before that crazy making season that was working for us? The multivitamin that I was taking. He said, I need you to get back on that. Back to basics. What were the things that were working for us? Right? That's, this is my situation now. So y'all can take this and fine tune and tweak for whatever your circumstances are. Because I had already gone on the blood type diet once. I had already gone through this detox once before. So to get through this detox, God said, I need to get back to basics. So I'm having to think and have God bring back to my remembrance. Okay, well, what were the things that we were doing that was working? Okay, speed walking. All right, back to basics. The blood type diet, back to basics. The multivitamin that we were on during that time, it was working. Back to basics. Things like that. And then also, because the autonomic nervous system had to be reconditioned, at the same time, we are, <laughs> that's right, not just disciplining it, but also introducing it to more positive association so that it will stop viewing certain body movements and things as a threat, all right, when there's no threat there. There's no threat there anymore, but it does not know that. So I had to get back to basic with that. And then switch things up. And God said, I need you to, because your ANS knows that as soon as you're done with your tea and you wash the cup and put it away and then you go brush your teeth, it knows that routine. He says, so let's switch it up a little bit. Wait till after lunch and brush your teeth so it can break that association. Because that's how it was in the other environment. So at the same time, we're getting back to basics. He's got us switching things up to help that sucker heal. Because, we're yeah, it gets to that point where it's like, you know what? Autonomic nervous system, every time you act stupid, you're going to get a spiritual spanking. <laughs> That's it. Bottom line. <laughs> yes, the ANS gets a spiritual spanking when it starts acting stupid. So, there you go. Uh, <laughs> but getting back to basics so that we can get back on track. What does that look like? Okay. Well, like yesterday, Sunday, all right, first day of the week, I got the IG Bible verse done. We got up here and we went live on the YouTube channel at 2 p.m. with a message. Let's just chat show. I got the fun fact video for the Academy. I had the short Bible study video done for the Academy and word of the week. Those are the five main bullet points for the day. Anything else that I get done after that is a bonus. You see? Because that's what I have on my social media structure. And so I could always do more than that, sure. But that's just back on track. So that today, IG Bible Verse. Now we're up here at 4 p.m., but I've already got our YouTube video promo ready. I've got a couple, a couple more things that we're going to get done this evening while I go ahead and branch out. Now, remember, I don't always put the exact same content out across all social unless it is a video promo or digital product promo or an urgent message from God. So we try to diversify across platforms. So for that reason, but when God says get back to basics, it's because... That's how you're going to get back on track. Once you've got a vision board, once you've got your social media structure, if that's what you're going to do, 
uh, even if you're only on three platforms. You got to have some sort of structure, strategy. Got to have a strategy. Otherwise, go wake up and be like, uh, what are we doing today? And so God's like, we don't want to do that because chosen ones are co creators with our Heavenly Father. So we want to make sure that, okay, we're always, always working out that salvation. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all shall be added unto you. And God's not kidding about that. He ain't kidding about none of his promises. And so I'll share something with y'all here in just a moment. And remember, um, thank you for sharing. Yes, uh, basic or good, uh, simple way and straightforward, absolutely. Because kind of like get back to basics so that we can get, all right, back on track here. Because as we continue to, you, you know, well, heal, met mine, you all, is in, uh, the physical, okay? It's a physical healing along with the detox. And so there you go. Because we're, we're good spiritually, emotionally, psychologically. We're good. And so God continues to reveal these other things, okay? So as far as the trauma healing in this season for myself, it's physical from that incident, okay? And so the detox thing is helping with that. Because like I said before, the healthier we eat, the faster we heal. Living testimonies right here. There's two of us. There you go. I said the detox program is working. You feel much cleaner internally. And you're... <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it's tasting less salty now, isn't it? There you go. Planning on paper. There you go. Planning on paper helps the mind focus. Mind mapping on paper. Exactly. That's like got to develop a strategy, right? Because we are planning the five P's, right? Remember, this Motivational Monday show is structured for advertising. So we are going to take a few short breaks. Like, I try to keep it less than a minute. <laughs> okay? That's, that's how we do it. Try to keep it less than a minute. Let y'all know what's up. So as we continue to detox and things like that, it really makes a huge difference because it helps us stay organized too. Remember, God is a God of organization. And we're not talking OCD type or anything like that. We're not talking like it, you know what I mean. We're not talking about obsessively, okay? Because I have seen that. And God's like, uh, it ain't going to be like that. No. <laughs> so she ain't got to be like that. So when God said, get back to basics, there you go. Mapping, mind mapping. There you go, on paper. Developing a strategy. And see, that's what the 5P coaching course helps y'all do, too, with those workbooks that you can print out. As many times and as long as you need them. Because as you're about to learn, there's a big perk with that of course in an, in and of itself because once you have enrolled in it you will be able to access that material for as long as the course is available because god's always going to give us vision right and so until we until we get back to basic back on track Okay, we might need those workbooks for a little while for every new vision that God gives us for the 5P because it's super important. Talk about getting organized in thoughts and action. And it's very important when we get in our purpose to do that so that we don't. I don't want to say fall behind because I don't believe in that. It's like, okay, so I know I do teach and this is very true too. And I'll go by this if I need to. Okay. I got five bullet points there. Okay. Sure. And none of it takes that long to do. And none of it. And so it's like, all right. Um, you know, once you get the hang of things, you'll see that. That nothing that we are doing in the kingdom of God for his glory takes that long at all. It really doesn't. And uh, now we do take the time to plan. If we're putting together a course, things like that, we got to have an outline. All that going. But 
those five bullet points, if I only get to two of them for that day because I have another project, that's okay too. Okay, that is okay because God said it's all right. So to get started though, the tip I give y'all is pick one. Get started with that. Pick one top priority for the day to accomplish. Right? With whatever it is God has you working on. Then he'll have you do two and then three. If you do any more than that in one day and you get it done, that's a bonus. Right? But you start with the one. Same concept applies. One top thing that you want to accomplish. Because that helps build that internal validation, you see, when you get it done. And you're like, yeah, all right, got that done, moving on. And so that, that internal validation from God. That's all we need. And so once we get to that point, we want to get better organized in thought and action. And so it's time for a quick break. Yeah, stay tuned to learn more about getting back to basics so we can get back on track when we come back. Are you ready to get better organized in thought and action to level up your trauma healing and spiritual growth? The 5P coaching course at CHA Academy is for you. You will learn the tried and true technique that will help you get better organized in thought and action to get things done effectively and efficiently. Once you begin putting the 5Ps in action, you will quickly see how they often work together simultaneously. Once enrolled in the course, you receive lifetime access to the course materials and the community forum where master classes are available at no additional cost. You can learn more about the 5P coaching course at chaacademybtbw.com and click on all courses. Thank you for enrolling. Sending love and light always. All right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome back, welcome back. And so let me go ahead and check on the comments over here. I want to make sure we do this. So, yes, knowing where you want to go and how to get there. Like a, map, a roadmap, absolutely. That's a great point, great way to put it. Absolutely. And so never forget that, yeah, it is really intriguing because... Let's face it, y'all. Our human side, <laughs> okay, the physical body, <laughs> is stubborn. And so God knows this. He knows human nature. He knows. He knows the nature of man better than we do. And, well, I mean, he, co he created us. But he also knows that the world indoctrinates us with a bunch of garbage. Thing is, is that in physical, we stubborn. And so we will sometimes, listen, <laughs> got to keep it real. We will sometimes find ourselves, yeah, uh, you know, making things a little bit more complicated, not on purpose either, but because we do tend to overthink sometimes. <laughs> All right, yes, and so we learn to unlearn doing that. That's something from the world that we, yeah, we did. Uh, oh. Now, when I say analyzing, that's different. Analyzing is connecting dots. Okay? Overthinking is dwelling on something. Because remember, again, what we focus the most on our, in our thought, that's what we're going to attract more of. And so, if I'm thinking about, okay... Let's see. What's a good example? Okay, yeah, internal body heat, right? Part of the detoxing. We're gonna. It's gonna fluctuate. But if I sit there and continue to dwell on it, well, then it's just going to get hotter. Okay. So instead of dwelling on it, what do we do? Think of ways to mitigate it. In other words, alleviate. You know, uh, to benefit. Let, let, let's see what is it that we can do proactively to help that. Because see, the Heavenly Father, the Godhead on the inside, is helping there. What can we do on the external to help out a little bit? Ice packs. I'm going to tell you all something. 
that an evildoer, a toddler in an adult body would rather, instead of go through a detox or let their body detox, okay, instead of letting it do a thing naturally, they don't have that kind of patience. And let me explain to you what I mean. Back to basics. Because it's all part of the back to basics. Ice pack. How how basic is that, right? And you don't get any more basic than that when it comes to ice packing, let's say a bruise, or anywhere on the body that seems to be a little bit warmer than it should be. As your ice pack, right, for a little bit. So... Rather than sit down on the couch for a few minutes and let's say there's a few areas on the cab that got to be, okay, a couple of those ice packs and we're just kind of giving it some love, right? Sit there for a few minutes, give it some love. If the other one needs it, give it some love, right? Yeah. And so a few minutes throughout the day, back to basics. Because that's going to help us stay on track as we continue to walk. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And God also will tell us when we need to take a break from something. So, right, while we are powerhouse nutritioning thing, it got me putting the weight aside just for a time to get the nutrients. Okay, see, so this is how God guides our steps. Remember, God guides our steps, so we be walking in his footsteps. That's right. So when he said get back to basics, that's all we ought to do. Because that's going to help us get back on track once we have strayed from being on track. So you got to get on track first. <laughs> yeah. All right, so once you have a... A road map, as Chris said, once you've got a sort of a road map on what you're going to put together, what you're going to co-create with your Heavenly Father, right? Our Heavenly Father. What are we going to co-create with Him, right? So, I'm going to share with you all. Um, yeah, another shout out to our fellow warrior, uh, April Stokes, uh, with uh, Hand to Heart. If I hope I got that right. I hope I got that right. But I want to share with you all something. I I um I had these verses picked out to have made and put on the wall. And so I designed some things in Canva, okay, using their templates and stuff. But it looked extremely digital. And I thought to myself, you know, I'm gonna have April produce these for me. So I sent her the template from Canva with the Bible verse. And I'm going to tell y'all something. The authenticity of freehand art, man, touches the heart. And so one of our favorite verses, Matthew 6, 21, right? For where your treasure is, there will be your heart also. And so she did an absolutely fantastic job. And I mean fantastic that so so thank you again April because these are wonderful and they're gonna go on the wall that's right they're gonna go on the wall because these I mean because <laughs> that's the first verse that God led me to when I asked him a question about why something was happening the way you know at the time that it was and that was Luke 177. So I've got several more verses on an index card, but I wanted to start with those three. And so there you go. And they're going to go, yep, they're going to go over here. Uh, it's just, it's wonderful. It, it is wonderful because that's why I had said a while back. I know that uh, we had somebody pop in and ask if we have some wall art. And I said, well, we're going to. So we're going to when we can get around to it. When we figure out how we're going to do it, what we're going to do, and then we discussed it, Bell Warrior and I about getting up there, and then now we're, we're going to start having some, some things that are not so, I guess, considered plain in the background. <laughs> but I wanted to share that with you all, because that right there is all about, you know, I 
Okay, now I probably could have come up with something like that, but I like her work. She's the one that did the coasters for me. You know? It's very, 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 very good. And so I'd rather support another small business. Even though I've got some artist ability, that's not my preference. <laughs> like that. <laughs> I know I made the choker ladder for my jewelry, but we, we good. <laughs> I much rather come up here and give y'all these messages, encourage, motivate, inspire, and continue to create content. That's really my thing there. And then also courses and then, you know, supplement guides. Listen, y'all, everything we do at Consulting for Height Awareness in the growing community of spiritual warriors for Christ, everything that we do, all right, it's not just for right now. It's beyond, okay, well, even when you get to the other side of that rainbow, all right, even when you get to the other side and you've got that balance, we're going to continue to guide and support every step of the way in the spiritual awakening and God's reality. Because let's face it, we're all we got, fellow chosen one. Well, God, we've always got God. But talk about in the human connection. God knows human nature and that we would be seeking some sort of human connection because we feel like a fish out of water out there sometimes, don't we? Because, well, we spot the evildoers. And then for a lot of us, we're fish out of water in our own family, biological family, because, yeah, a lot of them. So, Jezebel, oh, yeah. So, it's like, okay, what now? Where do you go? Right? Where do you go? Where do you go where you can be free? Where do you go where you can be who you are? Welcome to Consulting for Heightened Awareness, CHA and a growing community of spiritual warriors for Christ, where you can be you, and you have a voice. Y'all will go ahead and periodically check in with the comments and for, on Facebook and, yes, so, on Facebook and on YouTube. Okay, yep, yeah. get a bit lonesome, mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that's, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, especially when you know that there are those out there who are just not going to be on the same level as you. That heightened awareness, because a lot of them are not going to want to hear God's spiritual truth. Remember, God tells us that, yeah, perilous times shall come, and they're going to be lovers of themselves more than lovers of God. 2 Timothy 3. So they're not going to want to hear sound doctrine. I believe that's in 2 Timothy 4. Step in and correct me if I'm wrong, but we'll check that here in just a moment. Because I do believe that uh, it is. Uh, I, I remember. <laughs> I remember coming across that, and I said, well, you know what? That one fits too. Uh, let me go ahead. Because it, listen. God knows that we're going to experience these things. That's why he has those of us in place to help help y'all. Because you need a community of like mind and soul, right? You want to be, at least on a spiritual level, you want to be there, right? Mm-hmm. So, there we go. Like 863. I knew it was back there somewhere. After Colossian, yes, okay. Uh, 2 Timothy 4, okay, says, I'm dead and appearing in his kingdom, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, meaning expose, rebuke, ah, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. That's in verse 3. Okay, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. So they're not going to want to hear God's spiritual truths.
play. No way, no way. So that is, again, 2 Timothy 4, verse 3, and so on. So it's important to get a good understanding of what we're dealing with now out there in this world because they won't they won't listen. No, they don't want to. They don't want to. They don't want to know anything else because society continues to give them all that special treatment and that coddling and all of that, stroking their ego, right? And and chosen ones. <laughs> We do not feed egos. So, right. It is difficult. You're not ever going to be able to relate to people who are not on the spiritual side. Chosen one, that's just not going to happen. So God tells us, I got to get back to basics. <laughs> right? We have to get back to basics to get back on track once we have found that track. So don't be surprised once that happens. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't be surprised when when that happens and, and something occurs or you find yourself dwelling mentally on something that you did shift that mindset. Go, oh, hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. What can we do to get proactive with that? What can we do to help? <laughs> it's like, not that the Godhead needs our help per se, but he's like, okay, well, you know what? We're working it on the inside. The Godhead's working it on the inside. What can we do on the outside? Like the example I just shared, the ice pack. So there's all kinds of tips and how-tos and things like that on our YouTube channel as well. All right? Yes. Like how to know when you're fully healed. That's a great playlist for anybody who's got that question. Yes. And then adapting to the new spiritual norm. Big one right there. And we want to remember that we also have to be okay when God removes people. Because that helps us get back to basics, too. Think about it. We live in a world that loves to complicate things that are not complicated. God is a simple God. But the enemy don't want you to know that. All that complication and stuff like that out there uh, uh, that's in the world, yeah. That's all part of the enemy's trick to keep people confused. Remember, God is not the author of confusion. So when he has us get back to basics, it's for a reason. And so for anyone who is looking for some, some guidance and support outside of the content, don't forget we do have our individual sessions available Tuesday through Sunday. And you can always see what's available right on the website you're about to learn more about that in just a second so stay tuned for more about back to basics get back on track and other things when we come back individual consulting and coaching sessions are available every tuesday through sunday to help you overcome trauma unpack that bag or whatever you need help with Sorting through the mud and the muck of being lied to during the abuse takes time and overcoming triggers is 100% possible. All individual consulting and coaching sessions are eligible for easy monthly payment using shop pay at checkout. You can check the available days and times for individual consulting and coaching sessions on CHA's website at cdhrwdrmd.org and click on Consulting and Coaching Session in the navigation menu. The website is also in the description below. The Godhead and I look forward to helping you overcome trauma, unpack that bag, or whatever you need help with. Sending love and light always. I got you. I got your question, and I'm going to answer that because it, it ducktail. Oh yeah, welcome back. Welcome back. All right. Uh huh. Ah. Okay. But God wants me to share this real quick because when He tells us to get back to basics so we can get back on track, all right? So when He does that, He's also telling us to kiss, meaning keep it. Simple, silly. Do not call yourself, ah, I know, I've heard the other version of it too, but remember, 
What a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And chosen ones, you are smart. Chosen ones are not stupid. Okay? So don't do that. Don't tell yourself that negative stuff. But we can be silly. Okay? So God said, keep it simple, silly. Write that down. All right, y'all, write that down. Keep it simple, silly. Don't say the other word there. Because we can be silly. Uh, yeah, that, that it's a good thing. But if there's such a thing as spiritual intelligence, as well as emotional intelligence, a lot of them to have either. <laughs> That's the evildoers for you. Toddlers and adult bodies will never, ever, ever have emotional intelligence. And I want to share with you. Think about what emotions are. Spiritual energy in motion. So having emotional intelligence is having spiritual intelligence. Because that's when we get control of ourselves. Chosen one, that's what we're getting. Consulting for heightened awareness. Yeah, that heightened awareness, spiritual awareness, leads to spiritual intelligence, God's wisdom, right? As we have the Holy Spirit to interpret Jesus' parable correctly and his teaching. And it is a wonderful thing, too, right, you? Because we're able to pick up on things that they never will. Because they're stunted emotionally. Meaning, they let their emotion control them. And then you do have many of them crept and unaware who don't even know. Well, we know they don't know they're demonically possessed, but they don't realize they're letting their emotion control them. They don't, they think they have control of themselves, but they don't. And we clearly start to see that after we pull the beam out of our own eye. So never forget that. Because that's very, very important. Yep, there you go. Thank you for putting that down there. Keep it simple, silly. There you go. And so they're never, ever going to understand what we're all about, chosen one. They're not. They will never understand a chosen one, right? No. And they think that simple is complicated. Because I remember one was talking about making some kind of dish. And I pointed out that, okay, and it could be done a lot simpler. And I got met with a blank. They could not comprehend the fact that I was just suggesting that you can do that dish in half the time because the way they were describing doing it, to the best of my remembrance, <laughs> it was way, way more complicated than, I was like, well, why don't you just this, this, this? And met with a blank look because that was too simple. They could not comprehend the simplicity of that suggestion. So there you go. All part of that cognitive distance coma that they're under. So we learn that uh, because keeping it simple like that is keeping it basic. So we don't have to go all over the place in a million different directions to complete something. No. So when we get back to basics, right, that helps us get back on track so that we can continue to build. Yes, we are building in the kingdom of God to serve the God Spirit in you all. And so we, yeah, we definitely, definitely are on this journey together. <laughs>
And so I like the point you made there, Chris, about how it, it, it can feel extremely lonesome at time in the spiritual awakening until you find the community for you. Because, let's face it, we are like, yeah, that moment of what now? What next? <laughs> what are we doing here? And so it helped to have a community that you can become a part of where you can grow, where you can prosper, and where you can be who you are, and where you do have a voice. Because we are supposed to be iron sharpening iron. And so everything that we do, it's all about God's business. I don't even, listen, you know, the, the ministry and the business, it ain't even mine. It belonged to God. Remember that. It belonged to God. Everything does. Because if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be here. I mean, doesn't get more basic than that either, does it? So we got to get back to basic to get back on track. So if you find yourself a little off track, that's your tip right there. Just get back to basics. It's not starting over. I want to be clear here. It is not starting over. It is because you're not starting over. You're starting from experience. Think about that. In God's reality, we're not starting over from scratch. We are starting over from experiences. And with additional wisdom from God. So when he said get back to basic, like I was sharing with y'all about how he had me do that, get back on the blood type diet, get back to basic, things that were working for us, okay, that we know was working as far as our overall health, clarity, no speed walking, cooking our own meals, and so all that multivitamin, back to basic on the things that were working. If you all have that. Now, for those of you who may be on this detox journey for the first time, yeah, and we hope it's the last. <laughs> uh, I know I told God, I'm like, this is going to be the last time I got to go through this. And he said, oh, I know. Because we're not going to allow ourselves to do that again. We're not going to deviate from the blood type diet like that again. We're not going to allow ourselves to be anywhere near a Jezebel when we spot them. No. And not out of fear. It's out of obedience to God. Remember when God says, from such, turn away. So we don't want to, right, and we are not to walk in the counsel of the ungodly. So if we spot a Jezebel, we better not be walking with them. All right, we have to identify them first. God knows this, but once we know we're dealing with the Jezebel, stay away, especially, and then any other evildoer. Now, mind you, discernment again. If it's a Jezebel cashier that is just doing their job and 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 ringing up your food and stuff like that, it's just business. Because you ain't going to stay there, right? You're going to have your stuff bagged up. You're going to pay for it. You're going to take it home. That's that. Okay? Discernment. You're not hanging out. But remember, always be kind. Okay? Because I've spotted them. There was Jezebel cashier locally in one of the stores. But they're always saccharine sweet, which is fine. So I'm just return the courteous behaviors, but not in a saccharine sweet way. Right. Being kind. Okay. Overcoming evil with good. <laughs> That's it. And then get your stuff and go. But if we have one that tries to weasel their way in, we don't let them. So we don't allow ourselves to be in... No. Uh-uh. Because 
we know what they're capable of. And we also know that if they're a Jezebel, they got a lot of anger. They got they got it all. They, they got everything. And we know that they already hate the jealous. And so let me tell y'all something that, yeah, uh, if there's a Jezebel that has kids, yes, the Jezebel will be jealous of their own kids. Absolutely, 100%. Because what is a Jezebel? The whole package. Which demon spirits are in operation at any given time depends on, again, who their target is, who their audience is, and who they're trying to impress. So don't forget those important points. Okay, everyone? And so as we are detoxing, all right, I want to let y'all know that the course is simple. We have weekly fun facts that will be going up now. Have already got a couple of them that coincide with the detox course. And it's just really a simple way. And then good reminders. And of course, I've got the disclaimers that it's not a replacement if you do need intervention of some kind. All right. Use that discernment. All right. So stay tuned as we wrap up getting back to basics to get back on track and more when we come back. Are you tired of feeling sluggish and ready to take back control of your health? CHA Academy BTBW.com has a course for you. CHA Academy's How to Detox from Trauma Nutrition course will provide you with fundamental tools and information to help you overcome traumatization from radio frequency poisoning and narcissistic abuse. We are subjected to toxicity from radio frequency and narcissism daily. Detoxing from the trauma is part of CHA's combat against radio frequency poisoning for healthier living. You can learn more about the How to Detox from Trauma Nutrition course at chaacademybtbw.com and clicking on All Courses. The link to the Academy is also listed below for quicker access. I look forward to seeing you at CHA Academy where iron sharpens iron with fellow spiritual warriors for Christ. Sending love and light always. <laughs> all right yes i saw that during the break uh yeah absolutely spot on all right so you know as we continue to get back to basics meaning things that we're working okay I, it could be something as simple as get you another pack of you know another pack of notepad it could be that simple yeah it could be that simple and so, I wanted to also point out to y'all that uh, getting back to basics is also, yeah, reading and meditating on the Word of God every day. That is how we strengthen the Holy Spirit. That is how we get stronger spiritually, chosen one, is by staying immersed in the Word of God. That's what we're supposed to meditate on. And Chris makes another great point that the higher and more aware we become, the harder it is it can be to relate. Yeah, they're not going to be able to relate. And why should we hold back our spiritual progress just to please the narcs? Yeah, we're not supposed to do that. That's an excellent point. Why, why should we? Well, yeah, we're not supposed to because God did say he's going to prosper us. And so we are not going to allow them to hinder our progress anymore and the fact is that they're just they're not going to be able to relate to the righteous spirituality they're they're not because they don't have jesus the only way that we can relate to one another chosen ones is because we got jesus and so i also wanted to point out this too as we get back to basics to get back on track the other reason behind that is because our thoughts can also be a hindrance to our own healing. <laughs> yeah. Remember, our thoughts are spiritual power. They are extremely powerful. And we have to be mindful of them. The only way that we can be mindful of our thoughts is for our subconscious to be awake and aware of them. And our conscious to be aware of the subconscious. So... 
Yeah, that way we know, oh, okay, what we're thinking. Because what we think, I know, our thoughts are not God's thoughts. That's why <laughs> he wanted me to point this out. That our thoughts can also be a hindrance to our healing. And that comes from dwelling too much on a certain thing that we need to be yeah, changing to get more proactive about. So if you find yourself dwelling on something, okay, it's not a negative, it's about the healing. Let's say the detox and how our body temperature is going to do what it does. And it's like, okay, what can we do to alleviate, right? What can we do to help the process or progress, however you want to put it. But we don't want to dwell on that. Okay, because there's going to be moments where you're going to notice certain parts of the body that's going to be a little hot. Okay, the temperature wise, you'll notice, and then you'll feel the heat as the body's trying to get rid of the excess heat. Mm -hmm. Remember, there's several different ways that the body gets rid of excessive internal heat. This speaking is one. Okay, but the two top ways is through the top of the head and the bottom of the feet. All right, that research is out there. And then never forget, the other way is through our illumination system. Okay? That's right. The urinary tract and your bowel. And then also belching and it is what it is. But that is how your body gets rid of excess heat from the inside. And so over time, okay, over time, as we continue to detox, it will finally regulate. It's very similar to us going across that rainbow. Yeah, to get to the other side where we get that emotional balance, right? Emotional regulation. It's that spiritual and physical balance. That's that emotional regulation that we get. The same concept applies as we're going across that rainbow. We get to the other side. And so our body internal heat as we detox is going to do the same thing until it gets to the other side of the rainbow. Ah, I like it. So it's very important that we just got to trust the process and this is for whoever needs the reminder as you get back to basics to get back on track. Okay? Remember not to force things that will happen naturally. Okay? We can't do that. Because if we try to do that, we can screw something up. We don't want to do that. It's one day at a time. So cleaving to God through God's word is another type of healthy practice. That's right. And good works. Simple as that. Yep. It said good works don't have to be complicated. Nope. Reading the Bible daily is good works. That's right. That's right. That's all part of it. All part of it. In fact, it's a big part of it. And so this is why we've gotten back on track. And we're going to stay with it. Okay? We're going to stay with it because that's why I now have an IG Bible verse that i got to get up. I used to schedule those out. And so that is what threw me off. So, for anybody who might be experiencing something similar, like you're like, okay, you, you, you got into a, uh, I don't want to say routine, but you got into a, um, uh, a type of activity that matters, not just to God, but to you. And so, for Instagram, because I've told y'all that that's what we like to do, is we like to put up uh, one of God's verses, and sometimes it might be a message, and then I'll put the verse referencing that. You know what I'm saying? So I do it both ways, but I like to make sure I have something like a like a daily Bible verse on Instagram. That was we started that a long time ago, and during that crazy making season, I had to schedule them out as I was going to do videos in the car more often. So I got used to doing it that way. So I want y'all to understand something, though. When God got us here, and I was still trying to, to uh, get them scheduled out, and then it's just things 
other things started happening and whatnot. And so I was getting them here and there. And, and, and so we went through a short season where I was not posting them as frequently. And so I want to say thank you to all of you who have stayed with us on Instagram, even through that season, because I had to, yeah, God said, I want you to get back to basics. That's another one. Because he said, what were you doing before you started scheduling those out? Before things started going wonky. And I said, right. I just was sitting in a chair with my cup of green tea. And that was the first thing that I would do. Because I'm reading. Okay. Because I was reading a whole chapter. And from that chapter, I would pick a verse. And go put it on Instagram with a short message. And so he said, get back to basics. Because you ain't got to schedule it like that no more. <laughs> because I'm not. It, right. So it takes a while for us to get acclimated to doing things a new way. And sometimes that's not living in the past. When God says get back to basics, you're still working and going forward. It's just you're going to utilize a technique that was working for a time that will now continue to work going forward because you don't have to do scheduling like that anymore. Now, if I do have to schedule out, let's say we're going on a business trip, I will do that. But God said for the most part, you can now do it that way because you have time and it doesn't take that long. Like one thing I learned is that with this content creation, once you've got that roadmap, thank you, Chris, once you've got that roadmap, it doesn't take that long to get this stuff done and uploaded, okay? Now, what takes longer, of course, is building the course. Yeah, building the course. And then other, other projects that take a little bit longer. But for a YouTube short video, right, 60 seconds or less, type the message, memorize it, and then get on. And to promote another YouTube video, right? It doesn't take that long. And then I go download the YouTube short. We're going to put it on TikTok. Yeah, then we start going across all social because it is a video promo. So there you go. And none of it takes that long. It's just seems like a lot, but it really isn't. So chosen one. You got the wherewithal. That's right. So if you find yourself needing to create content, and let's say it is a promo type, and you have to type up a short paragraph, about five sentences or so, you can memorize it. Absolutely. It's not hard to do. Not at all. Repetition. And then especially if it is something that you, let's say you have been around for a while, and it's something that you teach on quite often. It won't take long at all to memorize your message. That's being prepared. All right. That's all part of the 5P. All right, everyone. So let's go ahead and see if I got any other questions. We like to try to keep the um, no more than an hour, these Motivational Mondays. And so I just wanted to get on here and give you all that. When God said get back to basics, that's what he's talking about. He's saying get back to basics, to things that were working already for you when we tend to veer off track. Take us back to the basics to get us back on track. Glory be to God. Okay, so as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out, even if you leave those in the comments on the replay. I will get to those as soon as possible. I am Michelle Dickey. Your host for CHA Motivational Monday Show, streaming on the YouTube channel Narcissism and Cognitive Dissonance, and Facebook at Consulting for Heightened Awareness, where trauma healing and spiritual growth are front and center while combating radio frequency poisoning for healthier living. Trauma healing and spiritual growth occur with God's wisdom, basic scientific facts, tried and true. And more here and at CHA Academy BTBW.com. The link to the Academy is listed below. Some of you may need to copy and paste the link to view 
what CHA Academy BTBW.com offers to help you level up your trauma healing and spiritual growth. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching, listening, and for your support. Till next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.